Korea's household debt continues to grow at a worrying click as low interest rates are stimulating demand for mortgages. Recognizing the ballooning growth is unsustainable, the Korean government has made tackling the problem one of its top priorities. Kim Jong-soo reports. The Bank of Korea announced on Thursday that the nation's household debt surpassed 1.1 trillion U.S. dollars during the third quarter, the highest on record since the agency started compiling data in the fourth quarter of 2002. The country's household debt, which includes credit card spending, hovered around the $800 billion mark during the third quarter of 2013 and then reached the $1 trillion mark during the third and fourth quarters of 2015. The statistic for Q3 of 2016 is 11.2% higher than from the same period last year. The central bank has attributed the growth with the so-called balloon effect, in which consumers use non-bank financial institutions. The institutions lend at higher rates, which ultimately cause household debt levels to balloon. Experts also attribute the recent surge in household debt to the Chuseok fall holiday in September, when credit card spending for the third quarter grew at rates double that of the second quarter. They also say that while increasing household debt is a correlated phenomenon of a growing national economy, a debt that grows too fast could lead to an overall decrease in spending in the years to come. The news comes in spite of the government's recent attempts to curb household debt by imposing tougher lending requirements on the country's financial institutions. One of the measures it's initiated to contain household debt concerns mortgage loans, which continue to grow at an accelerated pace well into the third quarter. The central bank also has to take into account the possibility of a rate hike in the U.S. 70 percent of Korea's household debt has floating interest rates, and that could grow even more if the BOK responds by hiking its own interest rates in response to a U.S. rate hike. According to the Financial Services Commission, the government will implement a stronger screening process for consumers applying for group mortgage loans for newly built apartments, in addition to requiring them to pay both the principal and interest in the repayment process beginning in 2019, even if they belong to a low-income group. Kim Jong-soo, Arirang News.